Hi guys, welcome to buildmysiteforfree.com. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Sexy Bookmarks plugin. And what's great about it is it adds like an attractive social bookmarking menu to all of your posts and pages you have on your blog. And it's a great way to get your readers to actually submit your blog posts to several different social bookmarking sites, such as Facebook, Twitter, different Yahoo and Google sites. And it's really good because it's spreading the word for your blog post. So to get started, what you want to do is install the plugin first. So you would scroll down to plugins and you want to click add new. And once you get to the install plugins page, you just want to type in sexy bookmarks and then click search plugins. And this will be the results page. And it used to come up as just sexy bookmarks and then it would be in a sexy bookmarks link under your settings. But now it comes up a little different with a little bit of extra text here and it's going to end up being under your settings as Shareaholic. So anyway, let me just show you. You would install this from here and then activate it on your computer, which I'm sure if you're using plugins, you know how to do. But now, since I already have installed it prior to this video, it's going to appear very low down here underneath your settings link. So it's now going to be considered Shareaholic. But that's what you know is your sexy bookmarks plugin. So when you click Shareaholic, it's going to bring you to the settings page for the plugin. And the first thing you really are going to notice is all the enabled networks. So these are all the networks that you can use in your sexy bookmarks. So, you know, we have LinkedIn, Twitter, Google Buzz, Facebook, and you can drag and drop these however you want uh, on your sexy bookmarks. So you can drag just to reorder them and you check off which ones you want to actually be shown. So if you're not really part of some of these, or if you're not using them, or if you don't really think it's that popular that people are going to upload your post to them, you just keep it unchecked. And then as you scroll down, you just have some settings that you need to insert. So here for the additional buttons box, that it's asking if you want to include the like button set just above the post. And the like button is just to show if you like it or not, kind of like how they have it in Facebook. And then it also asks you if you want it to set below the post. So you could choose which way if you want it above or below the post. So I just made it below the post because that's where I, I want it. And then you have some functionality settings. And this is if you want it to be shared with Facebook, Twitter, Google Buzz, and Delicious. So you have the option to choose yes or no for any of these. And then there's just some like designer tool tips. You can change the background and the text color. So they give you ones by default but you actually have the option by clicking this little arrow to change the colors to the way that you want it to, to look like. And then you can also have it track, tracking the performance. You can add no follow to the links. If you have links you want to uh, have them open in new windows, you would click yes for any of these. If you want to show the Shareaholic link for the plugin, you could also click yes. But then if you don't want any of this, you would just check the no box and it would save those changes for you. And if you are um, using a new version and you want it to only enable exclusive advanced features, you would click yes for here and you could switch it at any time. And you also have some Twitter options. So if you are using Twitter, you would want to uh, configure the template or use a URL shortener. So this by default is Google, but you can also use uh, a few other options as well. And then the last few options is you can choose if you want this... Um, plug in to be space center and I want it to be uh, in the center so that's what I chose and you can even have it animated so if you click yes basically when you scroll over the bookmarks it will kind of have an animate expand kind of look and then you could choose the background image so it has all these default images basically saying sharing is sexy sharing is caring share the love and you can choose which one of these you want shown above your sexy bookmarks template and then finally you have a few combat compatibility settings so I just kind of kept this as default I didn't really play around with it but if you want to you can go ahead and choose these options and then last you can choose where you want the menu location so you could have it be above all of your post content you could have it below you could have it in both spots I made mine below because I figured the person's probably going to want to read my article first and then when they get to the very bottom they can click check off which ones which sites they want to upload uh, my my post content. And then you can also choose if you want them to be post pages and index. You could have it all three. You can have it just two or one of them. So depending on what you want, you choose these options right here. And if you also want it to show in your RSS feed, you can do that as well. 
And if you want to hide this menu from all mobile browsers, you want to check off this box here. So most of these options are pretty much self-explanatory, and it's really just how you want this to look on your blog. So once you're completely done, you want to save your changes. And now let's check out how it looks. So here I'm back on my blog, and I'm on my privacy policy page. And when I scroll down, you will notice the sexy bookmarks. So we have it below my post, like I, I chose. We have the sharing is caring background image that I also chose. And we have the um, animate expand link. So when I click any of these, it pops up and shows you that you could post to Facebook, to send via Gmail, send via email program. And these are all of the different sexy bookmarks sites that I chose and you can just um, scroll through each one of them you could change it at any time so now when your bloggers read one of your posts they can just scroll right down here and they could check off they can click off which ones they want to send it to and this is how you use social uh, the sexy bookmarks plugin it's a really great feature I recommend it to everyone and uh, thank you for watching